everyone's talking about the Lance Armstrong confession, uh, his interview with Oprah, of course, basically admitting that he's a liar and he's a cheat. But does it end there? What effect does it have to the sport and to our society? This is basically a breakdown of ethics, and we're going to be, or a collapse of ethics. We're going to be talking about that right about now on Cabo Bay in L.A. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Janelle Sawyer, Cabo Bay in Los Angeles. And joining us on the phone is Chuck Gallagher, nationally known business ethics speaker, also a motivational speaker. Chuck, hello, and welcome to Cabo Bay in L.A. Well, thank you very much. Hello. What is your assessment of that interview? Did you see guilt or shame? Because I, I, I watched it. I, to me, I, I thought he was still uh, very defensive. Well, he was defensive. But, you know, Janelle, one of the things is every choice has a consequence. And Armstrong, obviously, and, and admittedly in the interview, um, made some choices that really, really were unethical, and he's just now getting to to really start to experience the consequences of those choices. I mean, in the past, being dropped by Nike and other sponsors, and, and now having to publicly uh, declare the fact that he, sure enough, is, is, is a liar and a cheat. So it's... It's tough for Lance at this point in time, but he's not past the woods on this. Right. What? What? I'm sure he knew what he was getting into when he confessed. What do you think led to that decision to confess? Well, I think in, in the reality of, of, of circumstances, whether it's Lance Armstrong or, or Bernie Madoff or whomever, eventually if you – live a life that's created by an illusion and lies, it ultimately will collapse under its weight. So I, I think Armstrong's a pretty strong guy. Right. I think uh, his, his will to succeed kept the lie alive as long as it, it, as it was, but eventually just the sheer weight of, uh, of the BS, pardon the way I put it, but the sheer weight of all of that mm -hmm. ultimately caused him to have to collapse under it. And, and when you do that, the truth always comes out. Yeah, but let's talk about ethics. Let's talk about ethics here because, you know, this is a sport where you, you hear it all the time. People, you know, use things like like that, substances like that. When, uh, when something is being done by a lot of people, does it make something unethical more ethical? Can we fool ourselves into thinking that? Uh, yeah, absolutely we can. In fact, when, when something unethical takes place, three things happen. There's need, there's opportunity, and there's rationalization. Well, Janelle, if you've got a, a group of people who all are doing the same thing, or at least a number of them, it becomes so easy to rationalize that you lose track of what is really ethical versus what's unethical. So I can see how that happens. So that's, that, in a way, was what he was saying, that he, he tried to justify what he was doing. But when you live uh, with unethical choices like that for so long, as for as long as he did, or for as long as some of us do uh, with the choices that we make, is it possible to just be oblivious to it or be numb to the, doing the right thing? Yeah, actually it is. It, it's, it's kind of, it has an odd sort of numbing effect. You know, if, if you live with pain for so long, I'm going to use that as an example, but if you live with pain for so long, you start to, that starts to become normal. And, and what may hurt you and I to someone who's lived with it for such a, a, a long period of time doesn't have an impact. So I think that's really what happened with Lance. It doesn't make it right, mm -hmm. but it at least explains and helps people understand how can you rationalize such bad behavior and, and think it's okay. And that's the way it happens. And speaking of impact, you know, people are saying, oh, Lance Armstrong, so we're quick to judge, we're quick to criticize, we're quick to pass uh, comments. Uh, what effect does it have on us, on our society, and what can we do? What can we learn from this? Well, hopefully what we'll learn, and, and, and maybe the message, and I appreciate the fact that at least honesty is starting to come out, and maybe dialogues like this will help us understand the truth will always come out. You can't hide behind unethical choices and say it's okay. And if we can just as a society learn those two things, maybe we can be more honest and truthful in our daily lives. And God knows we could use a little of that up in Washington. Yes, wonderful. Thank you, Chuck. And where can we get more information about you and get more of your thoughts on different subjects, different topics? Well, actually, just visit my website. That's ChuckGallagher.com. ChuckGallagher.com, and I really do appreciate the opportunity to talk to you this afternoon. Yes, of course, and hopefully we have you back on other topics in the future. More power. Absolutely. 
Chuck Gallagher, nationally known business ethics speaker, also motivational speaker. Uh, website on the screen earlier. Check him out. And here on Cabo Bay in LA, we have immigration petition or fiance petitions for you when we return. Don't go away.